Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to continue on and talk a bit more about the Minuteman Express, the saved game file available at Nexus Mods. Now, in the first video, I kind of talked about where you could find your resources and such, and where the additional pylons were located, but I thought I'd just actually show you and go over the various locations that I use for storing those items. So what I'll do is first I'll go to Sanctuary and kind of show you around there so that you can get an idea of what you're looking for once you start. So I'm just going to go up here. Now the first thing I'll show you once we actually get to Sanctuary here is where the additional pylon is. Now there are four of them that I've used and they're the only four outside of vanilla items in game that I've actually used. And you can find that right over here attached to the generator. Alright, so if there's any issues or anything with the additional pylon, normally I store them then place them back down and just reconnect them. Although you shouldn't have any issues. Now as far as your power armors, you'll find them here and on the rack as well as I'm wearing a full suit and you'll find another chassis over at Red Rocket. Now there are shops available here and I do actually have a makeshift restaurant over there with a shop inside there. And there's also a pool table that I was working on. Now as far as your miscellaneous items, you'll find them here, games for your pit boy letters, logs, stuff like that. Your special items, two-handed weapons, armors are here. And as far as your bobbleheads and your magazines, you'll find them right there. Now this one is full, so I do have a second one at Red Rocket, which I'll show you. And I'll just head over to Red Rocket, and I'll have kind of a look around here. As you can see, we've got crops set up, and I do have water over in the corner there, and you do have space to run it along the front. As well, I have guard posts and defenses set up all around Sanctuary. Now, I haven't gotten any of the Brahmin for some reason, so you might want to try moving those onto the ground. Maybe they don't seem to like going onto that. But I'm just going to head over here to Red Rocket. Now as far as what I showed you in Sanctuary, at the work table you'll just really find junk and the resources which you'll want to collect and the money from the shops there. There really isn't anything else there. All the equipment that I give out to the settlers and such I store here. I take all the mods off the leather armor and the combat armor so that I can tell what type of armor it is, whether it's normal, sturdy, or heavy. And then I, I hand it out to the various settlers after I collect it here. And you can collect more of that by farming raiders or gunners as they carry a lot of the equipment that you'll need. And all the aid, as I said, I collect all the water and resources and bring them here and then I turn them into different chems or prepare different foods. Um, I also make the vegetable starch which is for adhesive and I use the excess for getting ammo and different things like that from the shops here. Now as far as your miscellaneous that's right here. There's not a lot here it's mostly in sanctuary although the Special weapons, two-handed weapons, and special armors are also here. And then you'll find your magazine rack is over here. And if you notice the settlers, this is one that works at the kind of the scrap table over here. And I give those ones welding goggles. And then she has a metal helmet, although I usually give the wet the workers different helmets depending on what's available. Now as far as the shopkeepers they get the newsboy caps but they do also have the road leather and the leather armor the same as the workers. 
although it does allow you to kind of tell the difference between the workers and as you can see all the workers out here they do have different types of hats on helmets stuff like that but they're all also in road leather with leather armor and the guards they're normally in military army or green combat green shirts in combat boot type attire along with the leather armor and an assault gas mask now the additional pylon you'll find that right here so if there's any lighting issues or power issues the lights happen to look dim or something inside of the building just store that place it back down and reconnect it to the generator now I'll head over here to Abernathy farm and just show you that and where to find the additional pylon there and that'll be the third of the four pylons now I normally walk over here or run as when you're heading between the two areas there's actually a set of trees and bushes here with a marker and you'll find a steamer trunk that seems to fill up with items every once in a while and by running back and forth you can check the trunk and you'll find that every so often it fills up with armor and other items just kind of a, a neat little thing that I found between the two settlements now as far as the additional pylon that's right here and if you do have any lighting issues or the lights look dim again just store it place it back down and reconnect it now they do have the crop and resource water resources sorry as well they have a lot of junk that's stored here and I do kind of spread that out between all the settlements even though I put a bit more at Red Rocket in the drive-in as they're attached to more settlements I do try to keep it even and let me just put my gun away here I'll just quickly head over to the drive-in and I'll just show you the last additional pylon that I used and they have a couple shops but they do have the water resources because they have the small pond there and I noticed that in some of the mods where they cleared that they would for some reason take out the pond which I couldn't understand since it is a good water resource so you'll find that I have taken out like the screen and everything but as far as the pond I left that and I tried to fit in as many of these larger ones as I could I managed to get two in there so you're actually getting quite a bit of water from this one and as you can see you're also getting a lot of food now same thing the recruitment beacon is off so if you're going to turn that on then I suggest building some more beds but your additional pylon is right there now if you do notice that the lights are dim again you just want to store the pylon and reconnect it to the generator there but as I said they have a a couple shops here one there and one over here they don't really have any food stored here or anything like that but they do have the food resources that you can collect and such now if there are any questions or concerns please let me know in the comments below otherwise please leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this and thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again.